This is my sister, Carly. She's always been into cheerleading since day one. It's her thing, and to me, she's become as close to perfect at it as you can get. My parents put her in competitive cheerleading at Waco Cheer Unlimited when she was in fifth grade. It soon became Texas Dynasty, though, because of new ownership. At the end of her first year, a select few on her team combined with another small team from Austin to create Station Dynasty. They went to the cheerleading Worlds in 2007 and got fourth place. Worlds is what every competitive cheerleader works for. It would be a dream come true if your team actually won. This has been her goal for forever, and over the years, she's pushed herself to become better and better in order to get there. Our team went the following year in 2008. Because we were such a small gym team, competing against the better well-known gyms from all over the world, we didn't make finals that year. No one could be upset, though, because we hit such a flawless routine, and that hadn't happened all year. For some of us, that was our greatest performance, and I'm still proud of our team that day. It's one of my favorite memories. That team was and still is like family. Of course, Carly became a varsity cheerleader her freshman year, which most freshmen don't normally get the chance of making. That was also a competitive team, and we did so good that year. I'm so glad I've been able to cheer with her over the years. It's made us closer than ever. In 2009, Texas Dynasty decided to join with another small gym from Waco. We became known as Icon. Although it was a hard transition year with both teams combining, there was a lot of talent coming from such a small town. Carly was definitely one of the stars of the team, like always. We went to the Worlds again, but unfortunately, most everyone cracked under the pressure. Carly, on the other hand, is probably one of the most self-confident cheerleaders out there, which is exactly how you need to be if you want to be the best. She just loves to perform, and she's so good at it, too. I love watching her tumble the most. She's not afraid of anything and is always working on new skills. Her sophomore year, Icon was no more. Our team at Texas Dynasty was getting smaller and smaller because of people graduating, but we still had just enough talent to still be proud of ourselves and the routine that we were able to perform. Her junior year was different. My parents finally decided to let her travel to Austin for practices every week and join a little bit of a bigger gym where she could practice with kids who had just as much talent as she did, even though she was still doing school cheer at the same time. Texas Dynasty will always be her home gym, but she has dreams much bigger than what Waco gyms can provide her with. Austin Cheer Factory had a lot of talent, but they didn't make Worlds that year, even though they performed great at all of their other competitions. Heart of Texas is another small gym from Waco, and they needed another spot filled on their team, so they asked her to compete at Worlds with them. Of course, she loved it and made that team look even better for having her on their team. Finally, her senior year has come all too quickly. To start the year off right, she had the opportunity to become co-captains for varsity with one of her best friends. I know she's going to miss it, but for how much she's been able to accomplish in such a short period of time is unbelievable. From what I've seen, I'd say her senior year has been pretty amazing so far. Her team went to UCA Nationals in Florida, and although they didn't make finals, I know they had a lot of fun just being together, and it was definitely something that she'll always remember. Finally, she tried out for her dream team at Cheer Athletics in Dallas. She made Panthers, and I know she's forever grateful for having that opportunity. Her new team is literally perfect. I know that she has made so many lifelong friends from this experience, and I'm so excited for her. She travels for practices every weekend and some weekdays, but it's all worth it to her. She's come so far from where she started. She definitely deserves to be somewhere where her talent is recognized in a big way. They've won all of their competitions so far, which is a great accomplishment, one of them being NCA. NCA has been the biggest competition so far with over 855 teams competing and 32,000 fans to support. They came in first place and also received the Grand Champions Award. With a score of 98.08, Panthers proved that they're able to fight for anything. This is just one step closer to them grabbing the world's title this year.
I'm so incredibly proud of everything she's become and all of the things she's been able to accomplish. I admire her dedication to her team and the drive she has to accomplish anything she sets her mind to. This video doesn't at all do her cheer career justice. I wish her the very best for her future. I know it's so bright. She's going to Worlds this April and hopefully she'll finally be able to come home as a world champion after all of her hard work she's put into her sport for the past.